John, terrific performance from your team. You, you're into round two. Congratulations. Thanks. I, know, I think the players deserve the credit more than myself. You know, they, they've rolled their sleeves up, and it, you know, it's a tough game. Yeah. Lost County are a very, very good side, and um, it was difficult to overcome them. But the players have showed a lot of character, a lot of grit, a lot of determination, and have ground out a win that you know, I think they thoroughly deserved. Yeah. Only Chelsea have got a record that can match Notts County away from home. That was the size of your challenge tonight. Yeah, we were telling the lads after the, uh, the draw at, at Notts County. I mean, I must admit, you know, if I was... If I was Sean, I'd feel a little bit aggrieved that at 1-0 they, they probably should have had a penalty. Um, and that can change the game. And that's the little bits of luck that you need in football. And people often forget that or sweep that away, how important luck can play in, in your role as a manager. And, I know as a player, really, but as a manager, luck can play a big part. And I feel for them for that. But after that, you know, we've rolled our luck and then we've dug in and really put in some great performances tonight. All the players, you know what, we were saying to them, you can't carry many players, but I'd say every one of them would be a minimum of eight out of ten tonight. And if you get that, you generally win the game. Since you came back in, in terms of perhaps 20 minutes, half an hour either side of half-time, is, is that as good as you've been? Um, certainly endeavouring on the front foot and pu pushing a very, very good team back. You know, they'll be the best team we've played this season uh, since I've been here. And, you know... The, at times, they, they played some good, attractive football in the first half that got us on the back foot. Um, and, you know, on another day, they took a couple of chances that they created, but we missed a couple of sitters ourselves. Um, but, I mean, we've got to strive to, to bring that into our league form and try and climb the table as quick as we can. You said before the game you were going to go for it, get some of that attacking front foot endeavour back. You certainly pleased the supporters who created a great atmosphere. Yeah, and I mean, as I said before, you know, that. Disappointed with the numbers of the fans, but you can't you can't criticise the fans who've come because they were brilliant tonight. They uh, really rallied us round, um, and the standard ovation they gave the players at the end was quite fitting. I thought you've had a couple of great cup runs. You've also had some real disappointments in the FA Cup. I'm guessing you're hoping that this can be the start of the former. <laughs> well, someone said to me we should give it a twirl. I don't know what a twirl means, but we should give it a twirl and have a good run in the FA Cup. Um, I'd set for getting to the third round and getting beat by Man United in front of 60,000. I'm doing me. Financially, it's massive, isn't it? £18,000 in the bank. Well, that's a big boost. You know, we've got a very, very tough game coming up against Yeovil. And, you know, people will just think, oh, you can beat North County. Well, you must definitely beat Yeovil. It doesn't work like that. Um, it'll be a difficult game when we're expecting a difficult game. But we've got a more important game on Saturday, which is our bread and butter. More importantly for you personally, no free weekend, first weekend of December, you'll have a game to prepare for. Yeah, I was planning to go to Dubai as well. <laughs> no, uh, no, um, it, it is, because you have got that problem, as I've said to you before, you know, it's horrible when you're out the cup and everybody else, or not everybody else, but a lot of them are in it, and you feel like you haven't been invited to the party, so it's, it's glad that we've got our invite and we can, we can look forward to another day where we can compete.